rain or shine, we're going hiking. My neighbor called yesterday and tried to get me to bite to take Lee because it was raining. He, you know, I knew when I saw his number on my phone, he's going to start whining. And I don't know what to do. I don't feel good. You think Lee will get sick out there, getting rained on? He said, come help me fix the carport while I'll tie him to my bumper. I told him that Lee will slip out of the leash and to put some uh, doors up against the house at an angle and he will go under there. And um, I didn't bite. You could tell that he wanted me to say, okay, I'll take you, but I didn't. That's a slick old man. He's had dogs before. He probably knows more about dogs than I do. Not falling for it. Anyway, I hope I'm not flooded out from getting to the park. Lee needs this more than I do. When I was talking to him, he said that a call from his son was coming in. That's the owner of the dog, his son. And it's very revealing because he didn't come over and make any kind of accommodations for Lee. They didn't even take him inside. Come on, man. Now I have a reason. My cats are scared to death of Lee and I flat out can't afford it. I don't have the accommodations that he has. And plus, I didn't want a dog. I didn't take on a dog. But somehow, incrementally, this has become my problem. Amazing. I think this rain may play to my favor at the dog park. I don't think any of those neat and clean people will come out in this rain. If anybody comes out, it'll be the people with the beagles who aren't afraid to get their dogs muddy. But we'll see. The park is flooded. This is great. It'll be interesting to see who's out here. Who's ever out here will be my kind of people. Don't be so uptight with your dogs. Let them run in the rain. Well, we have a car. I didn't think anyone would be crazy enough to be out here. And it looks like it might be the lady with the aggressive dog. She's leaving. Good. Awesome. Most of the park is underwater. Look at all these worms trying to escape. They'll drown. Looks like a lake out here.
moving to higher ground. Lee got into a scuffle with some dogs that just showed up. The man was trying to say that the rain agitates him. And I told him that's the first time Lee, Lee has ever done that. Uh, he left. Lee's not aggressive. Rain doesn't make Lee aggressive. It makes his dogs aggressive. For the most part, I was right. Nobody's coming out here. And we're even going into the woods after this. If we don't get swept away, you'll read about it on the news. I just got my camera back, it got wet. I'm gonna hold it under my cap and we're walking across. Knee deep. Look how deep Lee is. Oh, this is when it's the best. I don't know why retrievers aren't out here right now. Okay, we're getting deeper here. What's better than this, man? Still holding on to the ball. Whew. That works out your thighs. Do some Olympic training out here. Land ho, America. There we go. Does that look sweet or what? It's a blast to walk through. He held onto the ball the whole time across too. I'm gonna head across this one, but I can't hold the camera out. It's gonna get too wet. I'll show you from the other side. Look, the tree branches are almost touching the water. Well, they are touching the water. Another scuffle. But it was their dog that started it. They took one lap around with an umbrella and took off. But then towards the end, Lee and that dog started to get along and chase the ball together, but you know how it is. The owner gets mad and wants to leave with the dog.
thought I lost my camera, it got wet again, it wasn't recording. I don't know about crossing here. <laughs> Might be neck deep right there, I don't know. Okay, that was balls deep. Had to hold the camera above my head. I think we might be trapped. Well, at least we can't go any further. <laughs> Look at this. All underwater. I don't know if I want to go 200 yards through that. I was going to try to stay on the higher ground, but this is 100% briars. <laughs> I can't make it through there. This whole field is underwater. And my camera's starting to act up. It's on full zoom and I can't get it back. So we're going back around to the truck and we're going to try to get to the trail another way. I don't want to ruin this camera. Now it won't shut off. I never noticed this. This bench is dedicated to a boy. In loving memory of Ryan Joseph Tapp. I have a wet lens. In loving memory of Ryan Joseph Tapp, 1991 to 2011. Beloved son, brother, grandson, nephew, cousin, and friend who loved playing soccer here and bringing his dog, Sam, to the dog park. If love could have saved you, you would have lived forever. That's Ryan's bench. I'm having too much fun out here. I see no reason to leave. If I can keep my old camera dry, maybe I'll go pick up a plastic bag in my truck. Way over there. And maybe we'll hit the trail. More worms. More pussy people down there. Hesitating, stalling, waiting for me to leave. But I ain't leaving. You're gonna have to deal with my truck. Stop being such a pussy. Can you see him down there? Just sitting there like idiots. God, that makes me mad, man. Made it to the trail. Even the trail's flooded. This is the trail underwater. Think of all of the critters, ground dwelling critters that have to seek higher ground. I've already seen a field mouse or field rat, some unusual frogs and a water moccasin. I'm guessing rabbits and deer are gonna have to come up here too. This is fun. I'm looking for critters seeking higher ground. All of the woods has a current going through it. And the trail is a river. I'm trying to keep camera dry under this plastic bag. Mulch. What's better than this? Cool rain in the woods, watching the water flow. Now I'm totally surrounded by water. I 
I better get just so I can watch out for snakes and I don't have boots on like some kind of pink pelicans over here I don't know they have a wide bill See if I can get a glimpse of them. Yeah, they're pink. Can you see that? I have never seen that. I don't know what that is. Look at this current. I'm knee deep. If I slip, I'm going that way. <laughs> oh, great. Lee, don't get swept. All right. I have to say, I'm a little disappointed that no one in the city wants to take advantage of this. Come on. During this flood, a lot of animals will perish, but a lot will flourish, like all of these birds, ducks, cranes, and whatever those pink birds were. White bill, pink birds, big. Mission accomplished. That was a good one. I couldn't film too much because I scared my camera was going to get wet. But the woods were nice. <laughs>